Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's video is actually a subscriber's question, and I don't even know if I could find it. This is such an old question. I'm so late to these. I'm so sorry, but the question is, would I ever give up makeup and shoes? So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it. Let's go. Woo. Before we get started, as usual, if you wish to help on my channel, you can consider checking out my Patreon. And if not, then just help me out with the algorithm by giving this video a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe. Okay, let's get into answering the question. So the subscriber asked me, would I ever give up shoes or makeup? And I think this question was on one of my videos talking about my minimal. I've done a lot of these, like my minimal makeup collection, my minimal shoe collection. So I guess maybe the person is just curious, like maybe like, do I have a lot of heels? Or how much makeup do I have? Would I ever give these things up? So let's touch upon the shoes first because I don't think I have too much to say about the shoes but I will get into the makeup because you all know I love me some makeup all right so for the shoes there was a period of time where I was really into shoes but not as most women are I think I've never really been into heels I have like bone I have a bunion heels have always been extremely excruciatingly painful so I just I never got into them I think about one or two throughout my entire life where did they go I don't know I, ne I never wore them I think I stopped buying heels after grade eight called it a day I have never cared for heels so the type of shoes that I used to buy I was into this hype bay which is like like buying expensive like Nike shoes and stuff like that. That was a phase that I went through for a couple years. I was just chilling with like David and Will, they're big sneaker heads. So I got kind of influenced and I just spent some money on that. But once I got that out of my phase, sorry, once I got that phase out of my system, I stopped buying those shoes and I just kind of wore them out throughout like the months and then they just kind of had holes and I declutter them and I don't think I have many shoes left. You guys have probably seen my most recent video. I, I've gotten into slides. They're smaller, easier, more compact and more comfortable to wear and so my shoe collection is a lot smaller. So would I ever give up shoes? Uh, would I ever become like a minimalist? Shoe minimalist, I think is the term that she said. So people who don't wear shoes. Uh, I think the idea is amazing. It's awesome. I'm not here trying to judge other people. Because my feet have that medical condition, I like wearing shoes. I just feel a lot more comfortable wearing shoes. I don't think that I would ever give up wearing shoes and go barefoot, which is fine. I mean, like, it's a personal choice. So yeah, I will continue to have shoes and just maybe like two, three pairs, you know, boots for, you know, Canadian winter, runner and a pair of slides for the summer and that's life. All right, so let's get into talking about makeup, right? Okay, so I love me makeup. I, I don't know, I just I really like makeup. I even got LASIK just to be able to wear makeup. I used to wear like these really thick glasses and I don't know, I just, maybe it's the artist in me, the Libra in me, but I, I just really, really, really like vain, superficial stuff. And you know, I've made my peace with that. I have done a lot of soul searching. It doesn't bother me that I think I'm on the more superficial end of most minimalists. I ain't that deep. I don't pretend to be. I, I never sit here trying to tell everyone, you know, like I'm so spiritually enlightened as I got asked by one subscriber. I'm really not. So anyway, coming back to makeup. Yeah, I really do enjoy wearing makeup. I enjoy having makeup. In recent years, I've been culling it down to try to get it to fit a makeup bag. <laughs> and I hate to declutter. So until I finish something, I'm not letting it go. So would I ever give up makeup? You know, I can't I can't say I would never give it up. But in these recent months, I've been extremely busy with like my YouTube channel. Work has picked up. I've been moving a lot between like my mom's house, Will's house and our new apartment. Yeah, I actually don't wear makeup. It's weird, I, I still own it and would I ever give it up? I do want to preface this by saying that in 2020, I had a low buy. I only bought like mascara and like one or two items. And then in 2021, I did a no buy. And I think next month I will have done one year no buy. So I did get a PR package from Merit. So I don't count PR packages as like me going out and spending my money to get makeup. I'm just trying to build up my PR resume. So, you know, I could actually start charging companies for my services, but that's besides the point. My point being is, yeah, I don't, think that just like with if you guys have ever done project panning using up makeup takes forever i won't be buying makeup anytime soon definitely not in the following 2020 23 just it takes forever to use and i find myself wearing it less and less even though i still do own it i had done a march no makeup several years back i think it was 2017 and i did you know i was an extreme minimalist and i don't wear makeup and you know what like i'm enough without makeup i went through a phase like that and i found that i didn't really enjoy not having that ability to wear makeup is weird being allowed to wear makeup makes me feel more comfortable so i end up not wearing makeup but when i couldn't wear makeup I, I really so badly wanted to buy it and wear it it was weird i don't know maybe it's just human nature we're all just we, we want to touch what or do what we can't have what we can't have I, I don't know what it is so anyway very rambly but yes to answer the question i don't I think I'd ever give up makeup in the sense that there'll come a point where I'm like, yeah, I'm like so over makeup. I mean, like in some ways I kind of am over makeup. I'm indifferent to it. If I wear it, if I don't wear it, if I buy it, if I don't buy it, it's just so low on my priority list. 
I just don't find that that's where my value comes from. Like I've really worked on like myself emotionally and mentally to find like that self worth from the inside and not to validate myself with makeup and beauty because I kind of went through, I went on like a makeup journey, I think in, <laughs> through my low by 20 and 2020 and 2021, kind of assessing like pretty privileged. It's a nice privilege. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's really nice, you know, but I've kind of gotten to a stage where I've, I've actually made that jump from being pretty to actually being, you know, successful and actually using my brain to generate my I don't know my ability to eat you know so uh, I don't feel I need makeup much anymore because I no longer feel like opportunities won't come my way if I look a certain kind of way I know that this is getting a little bit deep but it's just I'm just explaining why I'm kind of indifferent to makeup I wouldn't even say that I ever give it up I just wouldn't even really care about it like if I had it great if I put it on some days great if I don't whatever like it doesn't really matter but I'm not going to you know make that cold cut decision of saying I'm never wearing makeup again I think a middle ground is healthy i think like a bare face and like a lick of mascara and we're good to go that, that's enough really honestly that's enough a natural beauty i think makes and enhances all of us so thank you for coming to this long winded video of me talking about shoes and and makeup okay i hope that answered your question and thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye